Hi and welcome to week 28 of economics. So in the coming week, we're going to delve into the world of international trade. We'll cover five key topics or objectives that are crucial for our understanding of how economies interact on a global scale. So first, we're going to talk about exchange rates and their impact on world trade. An exchange rate is the value of one currency in terms of another. When exchange rates change, it affects the cost of imports and exports. For example, if the US dollar strengthens against the euro, American goods become more expensive for European consumers, which can reduce exports from the US to Europe. Conversely, a weaker dollar makes U.S. goods cheaper abroad, boosting exports. So changes in exchange rates can significantly influence the volume and direction of world trade. Next, we'll delve into the concept of the balance of trade. The balance of trade measures the difference between the value of a country's exports and imports. When a country exports more than its imports, it has a trade surplus while a trade deficit occurs when imports exceed exports. A trade surplus can lead to economic growth and job creation, while a deficit can put pressure on a country's currency and lead to borrowing from abroad. Then we'll consider the broader effects of international trade on the U.S. and its trading partners. Uh, international trade opens up markets, allowing countries to specialize in the production of goods and services where they have a comparative advantage. This specialization leads to increased efficiency and higher living standards. However, trade can also lead to job displacement in certain industries and can impact uh, income inequality within countries. We'll then be shifting our focus to the role of the US in international trade. It is important to recognize that the US is one of the largest players in the global economy as a major importer and exporter, the U.S. influences global trade patterns and economic policies. Its large consumer market attracts goods from around the world, while its exports, including technology, agriculture, and services, contribute significantly to global trade flows. Finally, it will explore the role of logistics firms in international trade. So logistics firms play a crucial role in facilitating the movement of goods and services across borders. They manage transportation, warehousing, inventory, and distribution to ensure that products reach their destinations efficiently and cost effectively. With the rise of globalization, logistics firms have become increasingly important in connecting producers with consumers around the world. So to conclude, Understanding the dynamics of international trade is essential for grasping how economies interact on a global scale. Changes in exchange rates can influence trade flows, while the balance of trade reflects a country's economic health. International trade can have both positive and negative effects on countries and their citizens, shaping economic policies and global relationships. The United States plays a significant role in international trade, and logistics firms are instrumental in facilitating the smooth flow of goods and services across borders. So I want to thank you for following along so far. Uh, I hope that you found this preview to be fruitful. I look forward to seeing you and working with you in class. Thank you.